Hi you guys and welcome to another video. In today's video I wanted to do a kind of collective makeup haul of all of the bits that I've been buying recently so let's go. So the majority of this stuff is actually for my kit and whilst I can slash do use some of the stuff from my kit on myself um, most of these things are an investment into my kit and that's why there's so much of it so often because um, money that I get from jobs usually goes straight back on, you know, replenishing and putting back into my kit. So that's just the way that I decide to spend my money because I feel like it's the most responsible thing to do. But anyway, let's just, let's go. So I've got a huge bag here from Superdrug and my local Superdrug has just started stocking e.l.f. cosmetics which I know is really popular in America. I've been dying to try their stuff for ages just because I know that they're a decent affordable uh, makeup brand so I kind of went a little bit crazy. So starting off with primers, I have two here and the first one is the Illuminating Face Primer in Radiant Glow and then the second one is the Mineral Infused Face Primer in the shade Clear. I have actually used the Radiant Glow one and let me tell you it is very glowy. It actually has kind of these gold specks in it which I really like because like you guys know I don't really wear foundation anymore so uh, this is really great. But I haven't really had a go of the Mineral Face Primer but this is supposed to mattify your skin so um both of these are going straight in my kit once I've had a chance to kind of use them and play around with them a little bit on myself first. The next random little thing that I got is the e.l.f. blending brush. It kind of has like a dome taper to it, which um, I don't know, I thought I'd just give it a shot. It does kind of have that kind of cheapish feel to it, but once again, e.l.f. is really, really affordable. I think this is maybe like six pounds, if that. So I'm gonna give it a shot and uh, if it works, then I'll put it in my brush belt. And moving on to face products. I actually tried the Oil Free SPF 15 Sunscreen Flawless Finish Foundation. I actually tried this a couple of weeks ago and really gross. I've never done this in my life, but I was so excited to try this that I applied it with my hands. Obviously clean hands, but I didn't want to go and wet my beauty blender, so I thought I'd just kind of smack it on and I was obsessed. I could not get over how amazing this foundation looked on my skin that I kept walking around my house and going to different mirrors in different lighting because I honestly thought that the foundation was kind of tricking me. Although it says that this is oil free, it is so dewy on my skin. It's so dewy that I will actually have to set it because it almost makes me look greasy. But I think this is so beautiful and it's definitely kind of like a buildable coverage. Um, I kind of worked it up to a more fuller coverage and you can definitely layer it but um, I purchased this a couple of weeks ago and because I fell in love with it I decided to go back and purchase every single shade in the range minus one. So I have the shades natural which was previously porcelain, sand, buff, caramel and cocoa so all the way from the lighter shade to the darkest shade I have them. Like I said, all of these will be going in my kit because I absolutely love this, although I have tons and tons of foundations and foundation palettes. I just love this formula and I think it's really great for those kind of girls who might want a more fuller coverage. The next thing that I have is the HD Lifting Concealer and this is kind of the same case as the foundation. I bought the shade Light and I tried it maybe like a week ago. I fell in love with it so I went back and bought the shade Fair, which is also for my kit. This is a massive dupe for the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I really love this. This is actually the only thing that I'm wearing on my face at the moment. I haven't even, I haven't even done my brow, so love this. And then I also picked up the HD powder in the shade Sheer. It looks kind of like it has a really, really thin white consistency. I have a feeling that this might have flashback but I'm not entirely sure. And the next thing that I have is the matte lip colour in the shade Praline. This colour is so beautiful like when I tried this on it just kind of glided on and also it's a lip crayon so it's really easy to just apply and I absolutely love this and they do have some really beautiful shades. But moving on to some different brands, something that I've gotten recently is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I've always absolutely loved Urban Decay setting sprays and 
This particular one has been rebranded and it's actually by Scandinavia and Urban Decay really kindly sent this to me so thank you so much. Um, I absolutely love this and this stays in my kit now just because it's so small and I love travel size things just because it's easier for me to carry around. I recently picked up the Laura Geller Baked Swirl Illuminator Palette. Um, this comes with Ballerina, Gilded Honey and Peach Glow. As you guys know, Gilded Honey is literally one of my favourite highlighters and these are kind of just like minis in a trio and um, I figured it was great for my kit because once again it's in a palette and I now have three extra highlighters in my kit. So moving on to face palettes, I have the e.l.f. blush palette in light. I also recently picked up the BH Cosmetics 10 colour blush palette. I'm not a fan of the kind of plastic packaging that BH and kind of Morphe do but the actual blushes themselves are beautiful once again. It's 10 blushes in a palette, it works really well for me. and. I'm absolutely obsessed with this blush at the moment. It's like a peachy tangerine color and it's so beautiful. But these blushes are so pigmented and they just blend really well and I absolutely love these. I also picked up some individual eyeshadows recently and the first one is the Makeup Geek Foiled Eyeshadow in the shade High Wire. It's just this beautiful silver kind of platinum colour. And then I also recently picked up these two blue shades down here. I have no idea what this first shade is, but I know for sure it's in NYX colour. If I can find out, I'll leave it in the description box down below. And this deep blue is Sapphire from Morphe. This is the first Morphe single eyeshadow that I've owned. And I'm so impressed with the pigment. I really, really love it. And then I also recently purchased the Stargazer Glitter Shaker. So this doesn't actually have a shade, but it's kind of just like a really bright silver color. And it also comes with this tiny kind of glitter glue. I thought it was really cute. Guys, um, if you want me to do a full face kind of first impressions of e.l.f. makeup, then let me know. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one, guys.